This week is being called one of the most important for the markets in 2009. Tonight, President Obama will address the nation. It's his first primetime uh, press conference. The economy and the stimulus will be front and center. Tomorrow, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner will establish a framework, the so-called bank plan that everybody is waiting for. And the question is, uh, will all of this, the stimulus, the bank plan, Will it really turn the stock market around? Let's bring in some guests to talk about it. Dan Vero is co-chief investment officer with Palisade Capital Management. He's got more than $2 billion in assets under management. Rob Stein is managing partner with Aster Asset Management. Pleasure to have both of you with us. Dan, let me Thank start you. with you because it has been pretty incredible. Um, if you go to all these sort of completely off the beaten track, um, you know, little announcements out there. People are out there right now buying some of the so-called toxic assets. Mortgages in Detroit is just one example. Right. Are you? No, we're not. Uh, I think that what needs to be announced by Treasury needs to be very big, very broad, and encompasses not only banks, but the securitization markets. I think that's critical to getting leadership back into the stock market. With that said, regardless, we're in an economic downturn. It's going to take a long time. This, even, even if we get everything that we want, uh, it's going to take some time for that to filter into Main Street, uh, but it should begin the healing process on Wall Street. All right, so as a quick follow, we know so far that the plan is likely to include just what you said, addressing the securitization market where uh, some would say the majority of lending happened to consumers over the past few years to try to fix that. Is that in and of itself enough, or must we have a specific, explicit, how many words can I use to say the same thing, metric for pricing of toxic assets? Well, I think the free market typically does that the best. If we, the reason why this has to be very encompassing, it can't come out in bits and pieces the way it's come out so far because that has not helped at all. And it's left open uh, problems that uh, have prevented the private, uh, the private market from coming in and mm -hmm. buying some of the assets. There is a lot of capital around in private equity shops and right. other pools of capital. But why should they come in if you don't know what the rules are going to be? So, Rob, what needs to happen here? We have, I counted the other day, up to 10 programs currently started or in progress from the Fed. Ten. It's hard to even keep right. track of all of them. And now we have this stimulus, and then we're going to have more things coming out on a bank plan. Is the issue that we need a new plan or the issue that maybe we just need to be patient, figure out what's already out there, and go with that? That's a lot to swallow there. Uh, the, the plan needs to be more open. I think you need to create a system, a market-making system, allow people to participate. Very similar to what the Fed does when they intervene in the currency markets, but a much bigger, broader plan. Create a market. Allow people to actually go short. Allow market makers to participate, and you can then help with these assets. But, Aaron, there's two things that you need to focus on. There's mm -hmm. a plan that helps the markets, and there's a plan that helps the economy. And you're going to see a major divergence in 2009 between the market and the economy. And and it isn't until the market is fixed and the economy starts to improve that you will see what we all like as an expansion. And I think that we're a little further off from that happening, but this is step one. Let's create and fix the market. And then we could see what we could do with the economy as a whole. Rob Stein, what happens if we end up with one of the main banks, though, through uh, getting rid of the toxic assets here in whatever market form that we come up with, obviously the form being crucial, but what if we end up with a nationalized, let's say, Citigroup? How would the market react? You know, I think the market's reacting as if one of the major banks, in fact, uh, are going to end up nationalized. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's any, uh, any surprise at the condition that some of these banks are in at this level. Look at where their stock prices are, are trading at. You know, the market's actually hung in there. The price we're at today is plus or minus a few percentages of where we were three or four months ago. The, mm -hmm. the market's actually consolidating. What you need is to do something that jumpstarts the economy. I believe they'll figure out how to help these, these market forces. Now you've got to do something to help the economy. Maybe give everybody who has a loan a 2% break if you've been performing on your loan for 12 months without having to go and get a credit check or, uh, or revalue your assets. That'll put money back into the system. We need to get people working. We need to fix the economy. The markets, I think, are going to get worked out. All right, Dan, Rob, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Obviously, a lot of complexity there, but the one thing we keep hearing in all these conversations is how much money there is uh, ready to be to, to work. Maybe it's waiting for term, so uh, maybe it doesn't mean anything because it isn't going to work at this moment. But you are hearing it and you are seeing these deals happen all over the place right now in terms of buying some of these toxic mortgages. All right.